Welcome to the 18 Demon Claw Podcast, where we discuss everything Kung Fu, philosophy, healing, spirituality, magic, and much more. And you're listening to The Last Emperor, The Lord General, The One and Only, Sifiji. What's good, Warriors? Welcome to episode two of the 18 Demon Claw podcast. Sifu G here. We've all heard the terms thrown around by many, internal or external Kung Fu. What do you think the differences are? Well, through my experience, there's no internal or external Kung Fu. These are just terms used as a sales pitch, especially for the so-called internal artist, martial artist, right? And when you look at what they're doing as internal, is only more of a slow exercise. Does that really mean or make it internal by any way? No. What about external Kung Fu or the explosive fast type of forms that you see? To me, there's no such thing as internal or external. It's the same, two sides of the same coin, right? There's slow practice and soft, and there's fast and explosive. But both lead to the same goal. And if you look at these so-called internal martial artists, they think they're doing something different. I got this internal power. And again, like in episode one, they can't fucking hit a bag. They can't explode a coconut. So what the fuck are they talking about internal or internal power? Bouncing people away is not internal power. I'd say that Mike Tyson has a perfect understanding of what they would call internal power. Right? I don't see one Tai Chi guy with power like Mike Tyson. So if they're so good and, and internal martial arts is so powerful by going slow, you'd see them be able to do feats that no other person can do or have knockout power with every strike, but you don't see any of that shit. Right? So there's no such thing as internal, external art. If I'm doing a fast form, I can also break that down and make it do it slow and soft. Does now that make it internal according to the internal stylist? You see what I mean? So there's like snake sales, snake oil salesmen. They'll use chi and all sorts of fudging terms and listening skills and all that fucking bullshit. But yet, None of them can do a decent strike, even for three minutes on a bag. You just see them gas out. And I also spoke to one of my Sifus for the Primordial Chaos One Chi Palm, Sifu Connie. And he said, if they're all so internal, all these arts, why are these masters dying young? He mentioned that a lot of Tai Chi masters in the past died young. And if you look at all the pictures of these Tai Chi masters, they're fucking fat. And they'll just say, oh, that's a Chi belly, right? (coughs) Fuck out of here. Right? (laughs) So, again, your Kung Fu must help you get fit. Doing something slow compared to doing something fast. 
uses the muscular system and cardio different to doing something slow. But Kung Fu is all based on the yin yang, right? Everything has two parts to make a whole. For instance, my Yokumun system has a, a soft part or slow forms done soft and relaxed, just like Tai Chi and those so called arts. It's called Yokung Sapat Sun Toy Junk. The soft power, 18 double pushing palms. But that system, even though there's a soft part of the forms, it uses ball training, stone balls, metal, wooden, for strengthening the body. So the yang aspect to the soft, yeah? So there's always a component. Grandmaster Du Wei, he told me also that Tai Chi, a long time ago, used a lot of strength exercises and devices. And today, all you see is every fucking person is some Tai Chi master and they're unhealthy. There's many unhealthy Tai Chi people out there. So it can't be that fucking good for what they're claiming, right? So there's no such thing as internal Kung Fu, as in fighting or external Kung Fu. It's just Kung Fu. You're either doing it slow and soft or you're doing it fast and explosive. You gotta have both to be able to combine the power, right? For instance, to throw a good punch, you gotta know a bit about softness to have that explosive force to be super fast, otherwise you'll be stiff. So if I do my forms and you can see me going really fast and moving, keeping all my shit together, isn't that a form of what they would call good internal? I can break coconuts and bricks and so forth, but I've never seen a Tai Chi person go, oh, well, all I've done is soft training and I'm going to do and break coconuts. I guarantee they won't. But the most important thing is combat, right? <clears throat> the Tai Chi people... You know, they've always got these stupid little sayings. If you can't do it slow, you won't be able to do it fast. Absolute bullshit. Let me take a Tai Chi practitioner and say, do a butt may set fast as you can. Or speed up your, your uh, Tai Chi form and go as fast as you can. They can't because they haven't had that in them they've always practiced slow of course there's some faster sets but still not as fast as pop me not even close not even close with the power so this notion of if you can't do it fast I can't do it slow you might be able to do it fast it's just another sales pitch internal doesn't necessarily mean that you've accomplished anything doing Tai Chi. There's no such thing as internal. The only internal part of Kung Fu is the Noi Gung or the Nei Gung, the meditation, the inner alchemy where you're sitting down and you're working on the inside with the breath and we're working the three treasures, right? The Jing, He, Sun transforming the three treasures but to try to tell me that they're doing moving standing 
meditation as they're doing their form. No. You can zone out and be totally relaxed, but you still got to think to fucking step, to move, to raise the legs. So no, you're not meditating. You're just relaxing. And I can do that with Jigbo or any fucking fast set. Exactly the same. So is there really internal arts? No, there's no external arts. It's just you've either got power and softness or you don't. And you've got to have both to be a good Kung Fu practitioner. Many good Kung Fu or real traditional Kung Fu schools, be it if, if you want to call it external, just say for instance, nor may some but me. We have our fast handsets, right? But we also have our Hei Gong and our Noi Gong. So it's a complete balance. The Yum Yang, the Yin Yang is present in every system. Every real good Kung Fu system will have a Noi Gong part if they do, if they got a explosive like a butt mave handsets they always will have a counterpart for the softness right and just like grandmaster duway said tai chi should and they do to some degree i've seen some tai chi guys using a roller bar the balls and all sorts of devices but today a lot of people are just doing Tai Chi form and think that is good enough. <clears throat> and according to Sifu Kani, just doing soft all the time is not good. Right? So internal is your meditation, sitting still, working on the alchemy, alchemy of herbs intake of herbs, minerals, and transforming the three treasures. Essence, breath or chi, and spirit. And a good Kung Fu system, if you start your martial arts and you're already unhealthy, I just say I started, I'm, I'm weighing 100 kilos and I'm overweight, my Kung Fu should transform me starting with the jing right the essence so once you start getting healthy from hard training kung fu means hard training right then there's a transformation starting you work in your cardiovascular you work in your joints your muscles right so every time you're doing power and hitting things your muscles need some type of stimuli to for growth same as the bones, right? Doing everything slow has a different energetic effect, but lacks the cardio, right? So it all depends on the person. Just say for instance, I've got some health issue that I can't, like for instance, my injured neck. Right now I can't throw any punching, like hard. But I can do soft training to to keep my practice or keep keep my mind active as well, right? So there's things that you can use if one you can't do. But a real kung fu system will have inbuilt either fast forms, weapons, and the hei gong, noi gong, and the so-called slow arts will have an external type of power uh, and muscle training to compensate for the softness, right? So it's always a yin-yang. So that's it for today. I know it's not much, but to me, there's no difference to internal or external <clears throat> it's just hard work kung fu there's only slow doing your form slow or doing it 
fucking fast. Now, at the end of the day, it's all up to the individual what he or she would like. But throwing around, I, I do Tai Chi or Bakwa, that's internal. That's absolute bullshit. There's no such thing as if you're doing it slow and relaxed or you're going fast and hard. And that's just the fucking bottom line. So, what do you think? Is there really an internal art or an external art? Some people do Jam Jong, standing meditation, right? And some do hard Qigong. And they go, oh, well, the internal goes from the inside out through the skin and the hard qigong's going from the outside of the skin into the bones blah 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 how the fuck do you really know hey eh? how do you really know all you can do is practice and if you're getting healthy then it's good kung fu that's it if you're getting healthy mind and body then it's good kung fu there's no such thing as internal or external. Two sides of the same coin. I'm a human. You see my skin is external. Yang, internal that you can't see is your bones and organs and so forth. Right, so we are yin yang. But at the end of the day, as long as you're training and if that art transforms you to be fitter, mentally stronger, more energetic, then it's real Kung Fu. You're not going to get the special magic pill from doing so-called internal arts and going to be living longer. There's no proof in that whatsoever. Like I said, many of these Yang masters, Tai Chi, died young. <clears throat> many internal artists, so-called what they call internal arts, why are they dying young? Why are they so fat? And why can't they fucking punch anything fast and hard for amount of time? So if internal is so good, they should be so much fitter, so much stronger when they're really not. They actually look too yin, weak. So if you're going to pick a Kung Fu system, pick something that contains both. And if it doesn't have both, walk away. Go somewhere that does have either external handsets with internal so-called meditation because we need to meditate every kung fu guy should be meditating right? <clears throat> but you don't need to be standing in a posture for so long doing all these different postures when you're not even fit so your health and fitness is more important than believing in bullshit and thinking that you got something special and you call yourself internal and you and and you just have to look online all these tai chi masters <clears throat> bakwa taoist just get in the ring and get flogged so if they had something fucking special in their internal power They'd be wiping the floor with all these fuckers in the ring, wouldn't they? Anyway, think about that. I don't believe there is an internal or an external art. All I believe is there is Kung Fu. You're either doing it slow for practice or you can do it fast. And in the old days, those slow arts would always have an external element, just like Yogum 
uh, the Alkerman system with the 18 pushing palms and it has all the iron palm uh, a bridge and the ball training to strengthen the whole body, the joints, everything. So that completes the <coughs> Yao Gong, soft and hard. Or the Gong Yao, or the Yam Yam, Yin Yang. Any way you want to fucking call it, you should have a balance. And a balance, we all know that's the best thing to have. Tao bless. Until next time. Peace. Welcome to the 18 Demon Claw Podcast, where we discuss everything Kung Fu, philosophy, healing, spirituality, magic, and much more. And you're listening to The Last Emperor, The Lord General, The One and Only, Sifi Chi Chi Chi.